Get out of here as well. It's time to celebrate. Hallelujah. Because I finally got this to go. Yippee. Around this the right way this time. And look bloody deceiving, I tell you. I just took this coil off and ran it the other way. And so, sure enough, it works. I'm not getting quite getting t uh, 12 millimeter long arcs with this power supply. It's not quite as good as I thought it was going to be, but it bloody works. I'm happy with how this has worked. Now get me a tripod set up here before I make this video all wiggly and ruin. Let's power it up. Look at that. Nothing's getting warm either. Now yeah, it's actually working. I told you I'd get it going eventually. Patience is the key. Practice makes perfect. No hot components. Inductors cool. Prime is cool. Resistors are cool. MOSFETs and the dyes are cool. Capacitors are tad warm. But it's actually um, nowhere near as warm as it was getting when this was around the wrong way. It's a, it's a happy ZVS driver. My soldering uh, skill is a bit messed up, but it actually works. Alright. I'm going to try a different power supply, see if I can get my batteries out, or even my fully charged 18 volt cordless drill battery. Ah, oh, bloody half flat. Fuck it. See how that works, 18 volt, 1.3 amp hour, see what that does. Now, um, I uh, forgot where to put the neon. You put it across the capacitor, don't you? Or does it go across here? The neon that actually stops this kickback. So I, think, I think it goes across the capacitor after we check that. So once I get this thing going flat out, I don't want to risk uh, spiking it too much. And this one's going to be for Anthony, high one voltage one rules. He's been bitching the C arcs on this big flyback, which came out of that bigger 100 hertz rear projection, uh, not rear projection, sorry, that big old GTV I found on the side of the road. It's got two screen, uh, two focus settings on it. Been, um, might have been a HD TV, I think. Would have been nice, it would have been a good keeper if it was um, intact. But yeah, it's quite a chunky flyback. This should perform re really good arcs. So I'm going to leave this anode cap intact and clamp it onto something. Onto a plate or something. I'll just clip it off and clip it onto other various flybacks in my collection. Instead of uh, cutting it, then you lose shortening the wire, trying to um, repair it all the time. So I'll leave these intact. The anode caps. Um, i to find a way to bloody connect that battery. Don't know how I'm going to do it. I've got no, uh... Um... Hmm... Don't know how I'm going to get a connection on that without holding it. I might have to. Hang on a minute. I might try something else. Okay, right, she's running on two... She's gonna, I'm going to run this thing on two car batteries in series. And this had a charge top up about a month ago, so... They're not the best in condition, but they should have enough power to run this thing. Um, yeah, that will take the heat, I think. That shouldn't get too hot. I haven't got enough um, chunky leads to go from the ground to here. Before I connect it, double check my polarity is right. I'm pretty sure it is, but just good to check. After all that, I don't want to blow this thing up. I'll build another um, popper needle driver first. I've got to order me some more um, uh, zeners and uh, these resistors. Then I'm good to go. And I can build all I want without running out of parts. Oh, positive. Negative. Yep, I definitely the right way around. Okay, gotta bug it up there. Alright, let's uh, connect it. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. Disconnect, discharge. Ah, look at that, it's happy. Beautiful, nothing getting hot, sweet. Okay, we always will. This uh, RACQ battery has had the guts flogged out of it. It hasn't even got much charge in it at all. The voltage is right, but it's so flooded so bad it's barely got a bloody enough amps for this circuit. So we've got another battery instead, which uh, Still starts um, V6, so that's replaced it. See how it works now. 
with an other with an OECQ buggered battery, I was getting about five amps. I was consuming. Nothing getting hot either. That's good. The only thing that's getting hot is the arc. Disconnect. Discharge, safety first. Cold, cold. It's pretty happy. Running quite well. Ah, oh, Max, shut up. A little later on, I'll get this old beastie going. Now, there's a drawback to these. These windings are all not potted. And I've already snapped this high voltage output one off. So be very careful when you're storing and playing with this. But you think connected itself. Lucky it wasn't touching anything. Basically treat these as a mop. These ZVS jobs. Just treat them like a mop. That's all I need to know. Because they are not for beginners. Anyway, that's the output. I got another one of these. I left it on the circuit board intact so it wouldn't get damaged. I'll eventually rewind this, but not now. I'm too uh, excited that this is actually working. Anyway, I'll put that away for now and we'll have some more fun. Try and set the camera up at a better angle. Um, I better store this flood so it doesn't get damaged. A little later, when I'm going to um, yeah, start winding more with flybacks like this. This is it, yes, this heat's fun. Make sure I don't short nothing out. Let's see. Put it back here. Aim for the flyback. Okay. Might put a little connector on that. So when I arc, it's not going to burn the edge of the flyback here. I'll connect to it. Good question. Arc to that. I won't burn the flyback. No shorts. Oh, everything's good. Let's see an inch long my arcs are. Using a 0.47 capacitor, 250 volt 0.47 microfarad. All oh, the smoke coming off that. Nothing's even getting warm, it's all cold. Isn't it pretty? Can you bloody camera lock it off? Disconnect. Safety check, make sure everything is okay. Okay. After some more arcing. Everything's still bloody cold. Heat sink's barely warm. My MOSFETs are barely warm. I think I've got it tuned pretty good. I'm happy with it. Sweet. Reconnect. This little wire is already doing anything. I think that's not the, um, I think that went to the back of the yoke, the focus, I think that's a focus one. Yeah, that's your focus wire there. Yeah, love that sound. I should be getting a lot bigger arcs than this for a rear projection TV flyback, but I don't want to push these things too hard. These flybacks are a dying breed. Frequency, I love that. Oh, I am smelling something getting hot. That's my screwdriver getting hot. Look at the smoke coming off it. Oh, if I'm going to get hardcore with this, I'm going to make it so I don't pop induction sparks. I'm going to have to put a nail on this so I don't pop it. Alright, plum is warm. Inductor's not even bloody warm. Lukewarm if that. Capacitor's warm. Resistors are barely warm. MOSFETs are still at room temperature. Uh, let's cut that myself. I've got to keep arcing. Hmm. Alright. I'll build another ZVS. I'll get some more components first. Master, I'll build it and keep practicing. Make sure everything's spick and I get it stuck in my head. Once I've done that, I'm going to see if I can get some IGBTs. Then we can start having some fun. 
but I've finally got my ZVS going. I told you, patience uh, is a key. Oh, pretty. Just look at that. Look at the bloody heat. I don't know if the camera kind of picks up, but on the shadow, the heat coming off this thing. Connected, discharge safety first. Inductors cold, prime is warm, resistors are cold. There, MOSFETs are still at room temperature. Capacitors are getting hot but not dangerously hot. They're only cheap, glass, nasty generic Chinese pieces of crap, so if I put something a bit better at right, it, a bit bigger than that, I can always put a bigger one on there to tune it a bit better. But it works. Alright. When I get a chance, I'll hook this big bad boy up and get this one arcing out. Anyway, a file I got it going. Yay. Thanks for watching.